So we've got a little bit of business to take care of before we get to the matches. We just signed a player. We actually uh, are going to pay him some money. So that's kind of cool. And uh, we also have the fourth qualifying round of the FA Cup draw today. So let's roll the intro, get to the business, and then we'll get to matches. Hey guys, RC here, back with FM21. This is episode four of our Tiverton Town Director of Football and Youth Challenge save. Still in the early going, and we have signed another 32-year-old veteran in Justin Bone. He, yeah, good porn name there, right? <laughs> but he's two and a half star current, C plus grade for him. Uh, we. Are paying him nine fifty a month and some pretty hefty fees because uh, he wanted uh, about fourteen fifty a month. So yeah, I had to pay him. He, if he makes team of the year, uh, one thousand five hundred dollars. Uh, he will play every match, so I don't have to pay. I guess it doesn't matter. It's one hundred and ten dollars either way, and he gets one hundred and thirty bucks if we get, pitch a shutout. So maybe late in matches. <laughs> <coughs> Maybe late in matches, if we're winning, we'll push everybody up front and expose the keeper to breakaways and just concede goals so we don't have to pay that. <laughs> that's pretty sad. Uh, but, you know, that that's probably the most creative contract I've ever done in Football Manager. Uh, so anyway, we've signed Bone, and the reason I want him, he can play left back, and I can bench that little pissant Sloan. I mentioned him last episode. Every time he has a bad training, like 5.4, 5.6, and I go to fuss at him, he says, you're always on my case, and I think I'm doing a good job. You need to chill out. And I'm like, you're a punk because you don't have anybody else at your position. So Bone will step into the starting 11 just on principle, and uh, Sloan will go to the bench. Uh, let's see. Also, we have the FA Cup fourth qualifying round. There are 32 matches. Uh, so let's just 77 teams. I refuse to click the button that many times, so we're just going to draw them all. And we draw Torquay United. Is it Torquay? Let me go find out. All right. Pronunciation on the internet says it's Torquay. So Torquay United. And uh, I will probably butcher that more than once because uh, Torquay it rolls off my tongue better instead of Torquay. Uh, you know, too really hard. It's torquey, you know, like a car, like a muscle car. You know, that's what I want to hear. All right. Well, that is all we have going on right now. And I think so. We'll actually go into the second round now. Oh, that's huge. Is that right? So what happened up here? Oh, okay. No, this is not the game I thought it was going to be. All right, so we did lose a match. I thought we were playing here and then another qualifying round. Okay, well, let's come back for Slough. I think that's Slough. I'll have to check that, too. And hold on. Let me, let me advance one day. All right, nope, there they are. They're back. I, I don't know what happened there. They just disappeared all of a sudden. All right, so yes, I will be right back for Sutton highlights, and then we'll play Torquay in the uh, fourth qualifying round. That literally just disappeared off of my schedule a moment ago. And that might, I don't think that's our freezer showing up. Yeah, it's nice when you wake up early in the morning and your freezer's on the fritz with several thousand dollars worth of food in it, and you have to go find a freezer and then ice everything down in ice chests. So uh, I had to buy about $300 worth of ice and ice chests yesterday, and not to mention the freezer, which cost four figures. So, yay. Oh, well. All right, let's get up to the highlights, guys. All right, we are getting ready for our match against Sutton, which we'll have highlights of, but we've signed another player, an 18-year-old center back, two-and-a-half-star current, five-star potential, 
and so we will welcome him to the team. Taking a look, David Tierney. Uh, yeah, he's. I mean, he's not horrible. He's actually pretty solid. Uh, you know, not double figures, but he can do the job. He's brave. He's got a you know average pace and acceleration. He is six foot four. He can jump. He can head the ball. I like this kid. He is right footed, so he'll play on the right side. And I could see him being in our starting eleven, but we'll find out. So let me get up to oh, also uh, Jack Evans. We got twelve offers uh, two days ago in game, and they were all the way up to the Vonarama National League. So two levels above us, I believe. Uh, or one level above us, I, I don't remember, but uh, yeah. So, uh, but they everybody was around between six and eight thousand, and I, you know, so I've turned it down. Uh, I want to give him a shot to retrain and uh, become a bigger part of our club uh, because I think I'm going to go away from that that two. To midfield now, the only thing I could do is if I go back to like a um, a four four two, but with uh, you know a four diamond, that's a possibility with a deep de a defensive mid, two wide mid wingers, and then an attacking mid center. That's something we could go back to. I think I actually have that that one there. So maybe looking at that one, but I, I'm really liking what we were doing with this. Anyway, let's get to the match. Let me go play it out. Uh, I do have uh, to get through one more day. So we'll be right back. So Sutton were favored in this one. Uh, we are in the white in this one. And that's a nice through ball. Wilkins slots at home. Uh, we did go with the, uh, the four midfield diamond that I talked about right before that intermission. That was a nice finish. Look at that shot from Sloan. We had to move him from left to right. Bone did start, uh, but we did need Sloan in there with uh, Simmons being out. That was a poor effort by Murphy. That made it 2-1 to one in the 63rd minute. Bliss Cotterell lumps it forward. Williams runs onto it and goes near post, beating Egbo. And that made it 3-1, to one, Tiverton. In the 85th minute, right, McCabe. Threw ball to Daly, but Daly beats McCauley. And that made it 3-2, Tiverton. And that's how we would end up. We were outshot 17-15, to 15 and, but we did have possession, so we looked really good. Tierney made his professional debut. So can't really complain about that. Tierney played a 6.7, so got to be happy with that debut. We've got a week up to the next match, so let's get up to that. Well, we have some bad news. So I mentioned that Jack Evans had gotten some bids in the six dollars to $8,000 range. Well, he's leaving us. I've protested the transfer, but the board president has jumped in. How far can I push this? I mean. I'm not threatening. I'm just disagreeing. All right. Well, oh boy. All right. Well, leave the meeting. I pushed him as far as I could. It's a $16,750 fee. Uh, it's almost three times their highest ever fee paid for a player. And looks like we'll get uh, $1,900 after. 50 games and 20% sell on. Now he could reject it. He could reject it. Oh, do I want to resign? No, I don't want to resign. All right. Well, that is what it is. That's going to make my decision making process a little easier in tactics because he was in the number 10, and that's kind of what I was trying to get him in there with two strikers and a number 10 to have him in as part of that group. So maybe we can go away from that and go back to the, uh, the, the two, four, two, uh, but we'll see. All right, let me get up to the next match and 
Also, see if our director of football goes and spends any of this money. Now, he hasn't accepted yet, so we'll see. All right, so we're going to be playing Torquay today in the FA Cup. And because Evans has not signed that contract to leave yet, uh, we're going to go ahead and give him a chance to play. Could be his last match for us. We're going to go with Murphy and Goal, Sloan, Frazier, Tierney, and Bea on the back line. Justin Bone is cup tied, so that's why we're stuck with Sloan back there. McCann at the deep line playmaker, Wilkins and Bliss Cotterell on the wings, Evans in at the advanced playmaker, Cook and Williams up top. All right, we are in the yellow kits. Torquay is in the black and white. And there's a good header out to Wilkins. Turns on his man. Lays it out to Sloan. Sloan comes up the left wing. McCann's there. He reverses field. A lot of ball movement. There's a shot. Oh, my. Oh, disallowed. Was he off sides? Show me a replay, please. Oh, my God, he took a step too soon. Very, very good job by White, I will guess, their center back. Oh, that was brutal. All right, let's encourage him here. But that was one heck of a finish. The keeper did not even move. Oh, Bliss Cotterell right into the chest of the defender. Tierney gets beaten. And Darren Williams gets his second goal. Murphy, not even close. Oh, that was horrible. Yep, that was a bad, bad effort by Bliss Cotterell. We'll demand a little more here. Bea takes the throw, comes right back to him. And, of course, they do a great job. Tierney's caught out of position again. Oh, the youngster. Oh, the youngster is looking bad. Ow. All right, I need to check something. No, they're on central defend. Wow. Oh, well. Yeah, I don't need to watch that again. Clufferty and Sloan takes him down in the box. Thankfully, he wasn't carded, but boy, that kid is a punk. He's a punk, and it's sweet with a sweet finish, and Murphy just watches it go by. I think he took his cell phone out and videotaped that. I think he was really impressed. Oh, that is brutal. So we've already made it farther than we were expected to. So that's okay. I am not disappointed for that. I am disappointed in just the overall performance. Three shots, three on target, and three goals. We got to do better than that. Oh, man. All right. So we are going to point the finger, make up for it in the second. All right. Let's encourage them again. Williams can't get to that one. I think Tierney's going to get sent off there. Just give him a warning there, ref. Come on, just warn him. Nope, he's going into his pocket. That's his second yellow. And David Tierney is history. All right, so we're going to go there. Actually, if we go here... All right, now Evans for Corbett. Let's do that. Sloan's playing a 6-2. McCann, oh, you know what? We don't have... Um, let's pull him off and bring on Simmons, and let's just make him a central mid support. <laughs> Not the best thing I could see going on here, but, you know. 
Man, we have been now being a man. Look at Sloan caught out of position. There's a cross. Bea heads it out. Oh my goodness. Jelly hands from the keeper. Michael Horn with some blistering pace on that. So we'll give him credit. Murphy just could not stop it. That was one heck of a finish. David Tierney is truly suffering today. Not a good outing. They just lump it deep into our end. Murphy controls it. That's how you do it, Murphy. Get a little confidence from that. Williams controls it. Oh, it's tackled away, but he is taken down in the box. Oh, come on. That's got to be a card. Because he was all alone. He was on a breakaway. Williams puts in the penalty, gets us back to within three. I'm not optimistic here. There's no way in hell we're going to make up three goals a man down. Honestly, Tierney play, playing, oh, look at Sloan just getting beaten over the top again. Over the top, Williams is there. He's into the box. He takes a shot. Well, if we could have scored there, that would have been a little interesting at least. Right? All right. I am going to make our second sub here. Bliss Cotterill is looking at shit. If I bring him over there, I don't have anybody else, do I? Uh, you know what? I'm going to bring Lee White on. Now, he is right-footed, so I want him on the right side. So let's do that. He's actually got really good crossing. Yeah, let's go winger attack on that side. Confirm the change. All right, playing a little out of position. All right, good save by Murphy. Stood his ground. Held on to it with both hands. And kicks it right to Torquey. Frazier. No, Williams can't get there. It's Bliss Cotterill. Through ball. Williams on the break. Sits the... Oh, my God. He hit the crossbar. Oh, that should have been a goal. That should have been a goal. All right. Cook's on to this one. Knocked away by the keeper. We've given we've missed a bunch of opportunities here that could have made this. Um, let's let's demand more. Uh, Cook, you want to go get the ball there, bud? I mean, you know, you're part of the team. Reminds me of a line from a movie. Uh, we are Marshall. If you've never seen it, it's an American football movie, a college. Uh, not to spoil the whole movie, but it's based on a true story. Uh, the team airplane crashed, returning from a game. Oh, my God, Williams gets his 18th, and we're back within two, and we could be tied right now. Oh, my goodness. Uh, but the plane crashes, kills all the players, the, co the whole coaching staff, uh, the announcer. I, I mean, everybody died. Though Everybody that had made the trip with the team, their families. Uh, horrible, horrible accident, tragedy. But um, the new coach comes in, and they reform the team, and they're putting a team together. Oh, that's a good finish by Doyle for his first goal of the season. And uh, but the, they they hire this they they don't hire because it's college. They're they're amateurs. Uh, they've got this kid playing punter. Uh, he was a rugby player, I believe. Uh, I can, I'm probably wrong on that. But he, um, let's go ahead and make our last sub while I'm thinking about it here. All right. Uh, you are, somebody was dead. Grant Wilkins. I don't have anybody else to play there. And I've made all three subs. So never mind. Never mind. Um, <laughs> So he's in practice and he punts the ball. He kicks the ball down the field to the other to the other side, and they're running the the ball back. And he just watches them run by, uh, much like Murphy did to that goal a minute ago. And um, 
the coach comes out and says, hey, um, what are you doing? He goes, well, I'm just a punter, coach. He goes, yeah, but after you punt the ball, you're, um, you're a football player. And it banks in. What a bank shot. Number 19. And I think that's a hat trick. Is that the hat trick for him? That was a heck of a finish. But yeah, he's, you know, you're still a football player after all said and done. Oh, he banks it. It dribbles across the line. That's a huge finish. Five to three. Uh, let's uh, let's praise them. They're playing well. That is a hat trick. That's four. Oh, disallowed. That first goal was disallowed. Man, a disallowed goal. He hit the crossbar. Oh man, we could have. We could be in this game. Cook has it taken away. It's over the top. Murphy controls it. Sloan pops it over the top. There's White. He plays it through. And it's a touch. Oh, Cook, where were you at? Where? Oh, where did that go? I'm not sure where that went. Oh, no, that one went off of Wilkins. That was going in, too, but it took a deflection off of our guy. Oh, man, we have not gotten any breaks in this match. The team has played, oh, my God, three on one. Bea is toast. What a save. And Corbett tries to clear it the wrong way into the crowd. We're lucky that didn't go into the net. Oh, and we're going to lose this one in heartbreaking fashion, 5-3. to three. We ended up with 17 shots. They had nine, but all nine were on target. We ended up with a 2.63 XG. We controlled possession. The team played great. I mean, the team played great. We had one youngster that got a little rambunctious. And that was horrible. All right, well, we are currently in fourth position, 24 points from 12 matches. So we're right at that two-point-per-match two tally. Uh, we are in the playoffs, and we are only two points behind Bella Ricky for uh, automatic promotion. Now, how many, how many teams go up from here? Because I don't know. All right, so automatic promotion. Four relegations, but I'm sure the South comes into here, right? So six teams, two teams get a bye. The winners qualify for the semifinal. This has four teams, which I guess would be two from the South, two from the North. Would that be right? I'm guessing. And then the playoff final will be the two winners. And the winning team is promoted. Wow, that's pretty harsh. All right, let's go up to let's go up to here. So an automatic promotion. Man, yeah, we'll have to figure that out because four teams come down, and I'm guessing two go to each side. So where, what happens if the South team doesn't win the final? How do we determine who the other club is? We'll figure it out end of season. Uh, that, oh, that was brutal. We're defeated. We get 9,390. Tierney is suspended. Williams impresses with three goals. Of course he did. You were superb. Is he under contract? Uh, we are paying him for another, well, through this year. So you know what? I'm going to offer him a new contract. Because I don't want to lose him. Let's just make him a regular starter. And he's on 950 right now. Can I get you down to that? And 25%? Can I get you to 20% with that salary? Yes, I can. I will take that. And it's a two year deal. All right, guys. Well, we are out of the FA Cup and we will be into the FA Trophy. They want us to be competitive there. So let's come back for Slough and the FA Trophy against whoever we're playing. 
and then we'll take a look at how we've done in that handful of Bonorama South matches at that point. Hit the like button, subscribe for daily football manager content, and we'll see you. Thanks for dropping by.